टुडे अवर टॉपिक इज मैग्नेटिज्म विच इज फेज टू ने बैड क्वेश्चन एंड इट इज कंपल्सरी क्वेश्चन एंड इट इज कमिंग फॉर ट्वेंटी फाइव मार्क्स सो वी कैन नॉट लीव दिस ट्वेंटी फाइव मार्क्स क्वेश्चन बिकॉज इफ यू इफ यू डू गुड इन योर पार्ट ए लाइक योर रडा प्लॉटिंग योर मैग्नेटिज्म एंड योर जैरो and then you can write a, you can remember the navet what you already second officer so and third officer whatever your rank saying so you, you can able to write in the equipment anything i just read one time one times of the equipments there is also a lot of video available in my channels on the equipments so if you re, if you watch one times you can able to write at least two to three page so there is no difficulties the difficulties in the part a the zero radar plotting and the magnetism why it is difficult because most of the people don't understand they want to mug up this magnetism so today my topic is magnetism and we have to discuss we have to understand what is magnetism it's very simple and once you understand the concept of magnetism you can solve any type of question which is coming in the paper i will also make one separate video for the past papers so if you solve this Four five years question it's enough most of the this repeated question and if new question coming then also you can solve so before uh, going to the ships magnetism we discuss three magnetism earth magnetism and the uh, normal magnetism which we have everyone at home the normal magnetism which we play in the childhood and the other is ships magnetism because ship is made up of steel so it behaves something different. so we have also discuss about the six mag ship magnetism so uh, for earth magnetism you just understand this on the south side we have the red and on the north side we have the blue okay so the line of force is going from red to blue if you see this red to blue okay this you have to remember <coughs> in the name magnetism so m is one is red and the last m is blue so for earth it is from starting in red m to going to blue m and the for ship magnetism starting is blue and last one is m is red so it's enter from the m and it's going to the red m okay if you understand this two concept you will able to solve the generally question is coming the magnetism is about the deviation and variation so our most of the topic is coming to the deviation how to calculate deviation and what factor causing deviation so there is a five factors coefficient that is called coefficient so we discuss one by one all the coefficients but before going to coefficient we have to know understand this normal magnetism okay so let's discuss normal magnetism on terrestrial magnetism a magnetic material gets magnetized by if you keep one normal magnetic so it will magnetize how direct contact with magnet if you take one iron and you keep in the contact with a magnet it will acquire the magnet also the and the second is the influence of magnetic field so when it's acquired the red pole is on the north and the blue pole towards the south so in the blue pole the line of force entered and the red pole it's going away okay the strength of magnetism acquired depend upon the strength of magnetic field on the alignment of the material with respect to inducing field okay so now let's see this this all the blue this all the black lines it's going from red to blue because this is earth this is earth okay on the top it is blue north side and the south side it is red so the line of force is going straight okay from red, from going red to enter in the blue if you keep your magnetic in line with this the first so it will enter on the blue and it's going from red so it's opposite of the earth magnetism okay so if it is line of force is it's like this it is maximum induction 
in the north and south heading and if it is north easterly south easterly heading or north westerly and south easterly heading it will have some induction but less induction and which is perpendicular equator magnetic field there is no induction okay the properties of magnet now we discuss properties of magnet a freely suspended magnet on the earth if you put one free suspended magnet on the earth the red pole aligned towards the magnetic north see this is earth circle one and the blue is on the top so this is north pole and this is south pole okay if you put one freely suspended magnet on the earth so it will acquire the red pole on the magnetic north and the south blue pole aligned towards the magnetic south pole okay if it is freely suspended okay now we have the properties of the magnet if you put this same blue blue they will repel means the same same is repel and the uh, the different one is like poles is will attract so like this if you understand this is also is male coupling and it's also male coupling so they will repel they will not attract to each one but when the male and female coupling so they will attract each other so like on board we are doing this uh, host connection red and male and female coupling so you can understand this also now other thing is if you put the magnet and the axis in the center line the broad side on position this this side position is less than or you can say the end on position is twice than the broad side on position okay so this is 48 approximate and this is 24 so the end side is twice the broad side of position now earth magnetism so this is earth this north pole south pole geographical north pole geographical south pole and we are just putting the magnetic so this is our magnetic north pole and magnetic south pole which is not exactly to the geographical north pole and geographical south pole and it is annually shifting that's why we have the variation and the angle between the geographical north and the magnetic north here we call the variation this we know and we can get this variation on the chart tables if before on the paper charts now it's getting like this so we just go and find out the variation on the particular place so on the blue pole is on the north side and the red pole on the south side now we dis in the earth magnetism just remember this thing blue on always remember this blue on the north and the red on the south at the magnetic poles the line of force are perpendicular to the earth's surface at the magnetic equator the line of force are par parallel to the earth's surface horizontal at any intermediate latitude line of force are at obliquate angle to the earth's surface so if you can see this this is earth magnetism the blue on the north side red on the south side the line of force leaving from the red and entering from the blue pole okay when we entered it will cross the magnetic equator the horizontal there is deep is nil what is deep i will discuss the deep, deep in the next later the field is parallel to the earth surface okay so line of force entering leaving from the red pole and entering from the south pole and it's make perpendicular is right at north pole and the south pole making perpendicular so therefore there is dp is 92 on the north pole plus 90 degree and the magnetic south pole there is dp is minus 90 degree and equator dp is nil now what is deep the angle at which the earth magnetic field act with respect to horizontal at any place is the deep at the place okay so if you keep this freely suspended on the magnet on the equator so it will be par parallel like this but if you move this magnetic the north this red line red mark it will going down you can see this is going so this means coming down and this blue going is up but if you go in south side 
the red one is coming up and the blue one is going down so this is called dip which is present in the magnetic compass but we the install during the installment we can make a correction so that we can this dip is always pointing in the center and it will not deflect it anymore so sometime question is coming what is dip so you have to write this dip uh, definitions and you make this two diagrams okay this red pole in the north hemisphere the red pole is the red is going down you can you can see you can correlate and the blue is coming up this h is for horizontal component and z is comp vertical components so there is two force and this z in the north hemisphere it is going downwards okay and the south hemisphere it will going upwards in the north we have the positive dip in the south we have the negative dip so you have to remember all this sometimes this question come what is dip the earth field has a northward in and downward components in the north hemisphere and in south hemisphere it has a northward and the upward components okay now total force at any place may be resolved into two components i discussed na this h and z so what is h and what is z h is horizontal component and z is ver vertical components acting at mutually perpendicular direction now we discuss about the what is horizontal force provide the directive properties very important so you can also note down this property so you can write in the question in the exam horizontal forces h provides the directive properties to the magnetic compass very important maximum at the equator so horizontal force is maximum at equator and as you go up on the north side reduce as the attitude increase and on the pole magnetic magnetic pole it will nil the vertical force is opposite to the horizontal forces it is maximum at the pole reduce as latitude decrease and nil at the equator so the vertical force is opposite to the horizontal forces so you have to remember this thing then does not this vertical components does not contribute to the directive properties only tends to the dip the magnetic compass so why this dip is happen in the magnetic compass because of the vertical forces but the compass card is constant constructed in a such a way that it does not dip i already inform i already told you that uh, why this dip is not affected because we are constructed such that okay so let's discuss now we discuss already the terrestrial what is normal magnetism and the what is earth magnetism let's discuss ship's magnetism because we are special so let's discuss ship's magnetism the magnetism acquired by ship there is two magnetism permanent magnetism and induced magnetism okay so we have on board two magnetism the permanent magnetism is made of hard iron magnetism which example is hull deck bulkhead tank top etc and whereas induced magnetism is soft iron magnetism beams girders mast funnel etc so very correctly no structure completely without a hard magnetism and the soft iron magnetism so let's discuss what is permanent magnetism by hard iron structure when the ship is being built due to the falling see when the vessel is built in the dry dock or uh, built in the dry dock so it will maintain at a particular heading maybe one year two years constant heading so because of three things there is permanent magnetism acquired by the vessel so constant directive direction for a long time due to there is lot of work is going on the when the vessel is uh, launching or when they are constructing due to heating hammering heavy welding so this you can you can uh, memorize by hhh heating hammering and heavy welding so current passes through the ship cause the molecules and dominant of the hard iron structure of the ship to align themselves in the direction of the earth total force at that location so because of this heating hammering and heavy welding and uh, there is a lot of mo current molecules passing in the vessels so they will acquire the permanent magnetism which will be remain for the vessel lifelong until the vessel is scrapped 
only in this first six months because of variation pounding it will lose some magnitude okay so her her hard iron magnetic pole being located in the direction of the line of force and are permanent which depend on the heading during the buildings so permanent is why because because of particular headings achieved in both horizontal and the vertical planes okay which remain for the entire life a small amount is taken off in the first 6 month due to the pounding and vibration so why this permanent because of the heading so if you see this this is a red in the south side and the blue on the north this is earth magnetism so whenever whenever you make any diagram in the magnetic you always make first this one red on the south side and the blue on the top side now if you vessel the line of force is going from the red to blue okay this black line is the line of force now if you have vessel during the construction if it is north heading so if you see this blue will enter and the red is going out okay if you so it will be on the fore and aft line but if it is in the sterly heading it will in the starboard and port athwart ship okay red and blue so the location of the blue and red pole if you know you can identify on which heading vessel is made on the during the construction okay so if your blue pole on the on the your bow and the red is on the stern that means you are in during the construction the vessel is on the south direction and if it is port side blue red side starboard that means it is westerly direction and if it is starboard quarter blue and the port bow is red that means it is north easterly heading and if it is port bow blue and starboard quarter red that means it is south westerly heading so there is lot of numericals coming in that uh, sometimes it comes so you no you can make anything any direction so i make here so you can understand that why is permanent magnetism required so depend upon the poles you will know and which heading the vessel is constructed so example vessel blue pole port bow and the red pole on the starboard quarters so how you make this okay for making this first you have to make like this a red wait i will show you so if you want to make this heading you want to know so i give you one example red and then you have to make blue this your north and then line of force like this correct this is line of force now this question saying port bow and the red pole so do so first when it's line of force entering it will require blue and it will leave red correct you mark this now you have to adjust your heading so adjust your heading such that your port bow blue pole okay so we make that like this like this so if you see this port bow on blue and the red on the starboard quarter so apply this you can get anything at at, at which heading the vessel is made so hope you understand this one if you have still in doubt write me in comment box and i will kill give you on the which heading so if you have any doubts so well, let's see in the horizontal plane position of the pole acquired depending entirely upon the ship's heading of the time it was built so already we discuss now the vertical vertical plane this also see this is earth the first circle the perfectly circular and we have the south hemisphere the red one and the north hemisphere we have the blue one so if your vessel the line of force first you understand line of force entering from the uh, entering blue and leaving the red so leaving red and going to the like this it will going like this okay leaving from the red and entering from the blue pole 
so you can say also leaving from the south pole and entering from the north pole okay so if your vessel in the south hemisphere we, it will enter first here blue okay and then it will leave the red so blue will acquire on the keel and the red is on top of the vessel in the south hemisphere whereas in the north hemisphere in the blue is on the deck and the red is on clay keel okay so vertical plane you understand the line of force is leaving from the red to entering from the blue or you can say south hemisphere to north hemisphere if your vessel is in north hemisphere so it will require blue on the top and the red on the bottom so you just remember this all the diagrams red and blue it's very simple one more things how you remember this so you remember this red on the earth magnetism red is down blue on the top so when we entered it blue because it's red to uh, red to opposite blue and then again red you can say also remember this blue so here red here red in the vertical plane position of poles acquire depend entirely upon the hemisphere in which ship is built so you, i already explained now permanent magnetic field on the ship fore and aft the permanent magnetism on the vessel see there is three force force p force q and force r so we discuss this permanent magnetic field on the ship so the force p which is acting forward and aft direction so blue is on forward and red is on aft forward and aft horizontal component force b the forward if you move in your direction in your life forward in your life so you have this mean positive so you can remember this when you are moving in your life forward side that means positive and when you are moving in your life in the aft side means back side you are remembering back your whatever you happen with the bed for you in the past and if you are moving that direction that means you are going to negative sides so you can remember this too by this example also or you can remember directly normal the forward side is positive force p and aft side is negative whereas force q force q that is earthward shift horizontal components which is acting on the starboard and port so starboard side green light that means positive red light means negative okay and the vertical component force r okay you can see in the diagram force r the down side is positive and the upward is negative so you will remember this concept positive which side is positive so okay in the force p which is running in the forward and aft direction the forward is positive and the aft is negative force r which is running earthward shift direction port or starboard direction starboard side is positive and the port side is negative in the vertical component which is caused by force r the the downward side is positive upward side is negative so you remember this things you can see the diagram the force p this red, black line is positive and that's negative this force p you will see the blue line the starboard side is positive and the port side is negative and this pink or purple line you can say the downward is side is positive and the upward side is negative okay so force p q are all constant force they are not affected by ship's head or change of magnetic latitude of ship their effect on the compass change with the ship's heading and with change of latitudes now it's very important the directive force so this is a north heading this is north easterly this is your equator or you can say this is your south easterly heading this is your compass the compass have the red is on the red needle on the north side and the blue needle on the south side which is freely suspended okay now if you are and this is uh, earth magnetism okay when you are doing in the north heading your vessel is like this 
when force p that means it will enter from here and it will acquire blue here and red here like this so no deviating force no deviation and maximum df increased there is maximum df whereas in north easterly heading this p resolve into two components one component cause deviation and other adds to it there is two component one is like this which is cause deviation okay and one is cause add h this add h so it will give the more power so df will increased on the equator devi deviation is maximum okay and component along h is zero so there is therefore directive force is not affected df is directive force and then south sterly the p resolve along two direction one component cause deviation other act against h df is reduced so this diagram is very important i think they two three times they ask in the past time so you have to remember this and uh, now we discuss ships induced magnetism we already discussed the permanent magnetism because the ship have two magnetism permanent and induced induced is by horizontal soft iron and vertical soft iron so horizontal soft iron caused by induced by h or vertical soft iron induced by z okay so this is our earth magnetism blue on south side red on the north side the line of force leaving from the red and entering from the blue okay now here it's fore and aft soft iron and this is earthward ship okay so first we make on the north heading easterly heading and south easterly heading both side okay earthward ship direction and the fore and aft direction now we put the rods like this rod in this fore and aft direction so fore and aft fore and aft fore and aft so maximum induction because of line of force entering from blue leaving from the line so it is in line with the earth magnetism so maximum induction red forward blue aft here no induction okay why because we already discuss here on the top if you remember this remember these diagrams okay okay and in the south direction same maximum induction blue forward red aft okay only the pole changes in the bow and quarter in the earthward ship direction there is port and starboard action no induction it's same like here in the sterly heading the maximum induction because it will line parallel to the your horizontal soft iron induced by h and in the south heading no induction where in vertical soft iron induced by z this is your equator so there is no induction in the north hemisphere vertical soft iron induced by z and in the south hemisphere vertical soft iron induced by z okay now very important line rods this is also i think two three times repeated in the past paper okay so now i will going to discuss nine rods which is very simple and i will give you the how to remember this nine rods okay so first you have to make table so this nine rods so we have to see nine conditions the first we have to write forward and aft horizontal earthward ship and vertical okay same in the left side fore and aft horizontal and the verticals okay i already marked all the compass so a b c d e f g h we don't have i we have k rods so this is all the nine rods now we discuss okay so first is horizontal first is forward and aft and forward and aft 
this is cos now if you see the compass the force p forward side is positive and here is also positive both are positive so it will positive here aft side so negative aft side is negative so it will negative so negative negative plus so plus 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 a okay now if you make continue this is divided now continue so forward is plus aft is minus plus minus minus so it will minus okay now plus we are going to discuss b which is earthward shifts and fore and aft line earthward shift and fore and aft line so earthward shift let's see starboard side and and also in forward side now port side but in aft side okay so let's discuss here starboard side positive and forward side is positive so it will positive aft side negative port side force q so negative 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 plus so plus 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 b now let's discuss opposite side forward side plus port side minus so plus minus minus on the this side starboard side plus and the back side that means negative so plus minus minus so it will minus b okay here vertical and the forward and aft so vertical forward and aft so let's see vertical this is vertical so it is down and it is up and the forward and aft line also so down so plus forward plus so it will become plus here it is above so minus behind minus 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 plus so it will become plus c let's see opposite side okay forward side then it will take plus on the top it is minus so plus minus minus down side plus behind minus plus minus minus so it is minus c dot now let's move d which is in forward and aft if you see this forward and aft line and this horizontal line so for forward let's see starboard side forward and oops. okay so forward of the compass positive and starboard side so positive so positive 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 behind negative port side negative so negative negative positive so this plus d now port side negative forward positive positive negative negative here starboard side positive back side negative so it will negative so minus d now for e because is horizontal and horizontal okay so this is starboard side positive okay this is also starboard side positive here negative negative so negative negative positive and positive 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 so it is positive e now continue this is divided now this is continue this side is positive because of starboard side this is because of port side negative so plus and minus is minus so this is minus e rods now the vertical and the horizontal earthward shift so downside positive so you can say this is starboard side this is port side okay this is propeller so starboard side positive and the downside is positive so positive 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 
port side negative upward negative so negative negative positive so it will positive f okay starboard side port side starboard side positive upward negative so positive negative negative down side positive port side negative so plus minus minus so it is minus f now vertical and forward direction rod g so this is vertical and forward direction so it's forward side positive down side negative uh, down side positive so positive 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 this upside negative port and uh, aft side is negative so negative negative positive so it is positive g this compass so we have the upward negative forward side positive positive negative negative here we have down so positive behind negative so negative positive negative so we have the negative g h which is in earthward ship and vertical so this is okay starboard side port side starboard side port side so starboard side positive down side positive so become positive port side negative and the upward is negative so negative negative positive so this is positive h starboard side positive upward negative so positive negative negative down side negative port side negative now down side is positive port side is negative so it will negative now force rods k which is in vertical and vertical both side is vertical so first we have to take divided okay so on the top positive on down it's negative and then negative and it's positive so it will positive it will positive so it will become positive k and continue so it is positive and it is negative and it is minus k now i will tell you how to remember these nine rods okay first we discuss then we we'll come to this Forward and aft, earthward ship, and the vertical side. Okay. So here also. forward and aft at what ship and the vertical now how to remember this so forward side and forward side so right a b c d e f g h i don't have we have so k okay <clears throat> now a b c d a b and d e a b d e this four one two three four we have to make vessel like this direction okay this top view if you see the vessel on the top view 
so it will like looks like this so a b d e is 4 is like this okay now the c the plane view okay you can make accommodation here and g also the same okay so c and g is the same you remember this and the f h k is a propeller view you can say okay this is okay now we make the compass okay we already make compass <clears throat> if you see compass i will show you how compass looks like it's okay so red and blue now how to remember So plus a minus a always first is positive plus b minus b plus c minus c plus d minus d plus e minus e plus f minus f plus g minus g plus h minus h plus k minus k okay so a e and k okay no we when we are in the child we play like this game no so remember this a e and k the first one is divided so four and up divided at shift divided and the vertical divided okay and in the second one is continue okay now you understand the force rods and you can explain so you remember this a e k finish okay now we going to discuss b d for b starboard side port side port side starboard side athwar ship same here in the athwar ship and fore and aft line okay so your b and d also finish now your c vertical and forward and aft okay and for g vertical and forward and aft line is then it's opposite okay now force you a finish b finish c finish d e g k finish now f h f h n f now always start from the east side So by this way you can remember the nine rods and explain how I explain you so you will remember the nine rods no need to mug up now merchant vessel soft iron we have a how which type of the continuous forward and aft minus a soft iron because of the funnel so minus c rods transfer beam so minus e rods plus k vertical soft iron below the compass pillars and sometimes the question come how make the magnetic compass 
so for you you can take the screenshot and you can make so i tell you something which is imp going to future use when we are discussing coefficient so this is our spare spare soft iron spare both side which we can adjust by turning this where we want we can fix it okay this one is flinder bars okay this your healings this pink one is healing this port and out slots power and out slots okay this central tube flinder bars mostly you flinder bars players will use this port and starboard and forward and aft slots then healing slots this all we going to discuss in the next videos so hope you all understand this concept of magnetism okay we'll discuss all the coefficient which is cause the deviation in the next video so hope you understand still if you have doubt comment me i will reply you whatever best i can do it thank you for watching this magnetism